Orlando Pirates progressing to the MTN final, which will take place on the 7th of October, 2023, and it will be at the Moses Mapida Stadium. Joined by the home team coach, Coach Jose Rivero. Uh, coach, firstly, congratulations on progressing. Thank you. And uh, if we can just get a summary of the 90 minutes. Uh, well, um, again, we, we same as last time here, we didn't start the, the way we wanted. Losing the ball too easy in the first minutes of the game and not not really not really playing the areas where we wanted. All the credit also for for our opponent. I think Stellenbosch played a a really good semi final overall in in Cape Town first and also today it was a very difficult opponent for us as usually and. Uh, Threatening with long balls, uh, long diagonals with uh, Titus. Uh, there was always uh, some difficult difficulties to defend. And in one set piece, in the second action, in one set piece, they managed to get the lead. Um, we were not comfortable at all during the first half. We, we were there playing football, but not our football, and that's not a good thing. Uh, second half, uh, I think we controlled the game uh, fully in my opinion. The uncertainty of the result makes you feel so-so, mm, mm, but I, I, don't, I don't remember any situation where they could really uh, have a clear chance. Long balls, a couple of set pieces, throw-ins, but I think we created better chances in the second half. But unfortunately, it's, it's the third game in a row that we couldn't put the ball in the net, and that that's something that uh, is affecting also our perception of the day and uh, we have to all understand and, and make sure we understand that it's the third time that this group is playing a semi-final, third time they have an opportunity to, to improve the history of the club playing one more final and they are always on time and they make it again and Orlando Pirates is in the final. Uh, this group is... Uh, extremely competitive even in the bad days and today was not an exception probably not our best week but uh, Orlando Pirates is in Durban the 7th of October and it's something that we we really we really celebrate coach let's take questions from the floor <coughs> should we just get this one out of the way <laughs> 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 yeah. okay. yes, Come on. Yeah. coach Lucky with the defeat, but uh, good luck with the outcome. Um, coach, um, I'm sure your birthday this year is one to forget because three defeats in a row. Mm. But uh, is there pressure for you to defend the title now that you are in, in the final? It's true. I didn't manage to win a game with 36. So let's see if, if we can change from now. Um, Extra pressure? No, no, not at all. It's a final. There's pressure for both. You have a bad day, you don't win the title. And uh, I think it's uh, it's uh, I think it's it's uh, it's gonna be a nice game. Both teams are very strong. Uh, there's a lot of things to prove in in that game for each side. And again, like I said on Wednesday. You, the people will have the opportunity to see 22 fantastic players uh, fighting for a title in a in a in an excellent environment. In I think it's in Moses Mavida, if I'm not mistaken. So there's no pressure. There's the the find the proper attitude to to face that game, understanding that we're gonna face a very strong opposition, as they will do. So. Now our mind is today celebrate, tomorrow we start to think about John Eng, and after that we will have time to prepare our, our final as well. All right, any other questions? Congratulations to you, Coach. Um, just to, in addition to what you, you 
you spoke about building up to the final. Um, when do you start working on the final? Is it immediately after the joining game, or do you, do you say to your play, players, let's play a game at the time, because this one is one of those biggest finals that we have? No, we have uh, Friday is a massive game for us. We have the opportunity to go to the group stage in the African Champions League. It, it goes, goes without saying, so our focus must be there. And that's one of the things that we need to manage well, because I think we, we spoke about it the last season. Um, the, the only thing that can, can, trust me, can stop this team to, to play in their best are the distractions. And when you have uh, big games all together in a short period, you used to get distracted. You know, and I think from, since we start last season, little by little, we are we are again back in the as a club. Eh? I mean, as a team, as a club, we are again having the opportunity to play big games in a high frequency, and that's how you get mature to manage. You know, we can all say names of mature teams in Africa and in, in, in Europe as well, teams that are used to. You know, play a final, win, play them the, the next fixture and continue winning, competing, competing, competing. So our focus, Joanne, we have a, a difficult task. It's going to be so difficult. They are leading 1-0. But we understand the responsibility we have. So our job as a coach, as a coaching staff, is make sure that everybody is thinking about the importance of that game. And after that, if we manage to to go to the group stage, we're going to get a, a motivational boost that is going to help us to, to face the, the final. So if we want to, to go to the final even stronger than usually, it's important to win the first game uh, of this period, you know, next Friday. So yeah, after the, the Joanne game, straight after, we start to prepare the final, we start to talk about our opponent, about the game plan, the strategy, and all the things that are going to happen there, but not before. Mr. Gleason. Uh, coach, is it of, uh, looking ahead to the final, is it of any consequence uh, what happened on Wednesday? Is there a little bit of a psychological advantage or that the, the opponent will have for that final? Is that something you might need to work on with your team? Yeah, it's, it's uh, Related with what I said before, it's it must be a habit, you know, that you are playing big games, not something exceptional or something that you can say, yeah, this one is more important than the next one, or the next one was more important than this one, which is the same, right? I did, I said the same thing two times, <laughs> and that's matureness, in my opinion. For, for everybody, eh? even sometimes we can get distracted around the players. This is not only about players, it's about all around the, the group. And that's when you can be consistent, when everything around the team is consistent. And that's, that's the challenge. And we are getting right, we are getting there little by little, because like I said, since we start together, and this is because of them, I'm not. I'm not asking for my flowers, but these these guys have the opportunity to be in three finals so far, and here they are. And the 7th of October, Orlando Pirates is there. So we have to give value because it's not easy. Mazola, coach, you talk about obviously being on the verge of creating more history, even though you lost uh, the three games, but you played really well. Everyone could see that you dread that you have to kind of spoil the party a little bit to remind the players that you have lost and you have to make some improvements, even though people can see that the club's playing well, you're reaching the final, you could be in the group stages of the Champions League and all. It, like I said, is the same. It's consistent. One week ago, everybody, or not everybody, but many people said that we are the alternative to the blah, 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 we are playing amazing football, this one is a magician, this one is, the coach is a good looking guy, and, <laughs> and I didn't read that anyway. Which coach? <laughs> <laughs> Which coach is that? I'll show you where. <laughs> and uh, we cannot allow the, you know,
know now because okay we, it's three defeats in a row it's not frequent all right even though like i said if we, now we on friday we manage to get the result that we need you know it's fine we go through it's like this we lost today but we are the team in the final so that's what it counts in the end so i don't take it like a defeat even though in the records it's going to be there like a defeat no it's not a discussion what i'm trying to say is that still we have the chance to go to the group stage when we do a good game when we play a good game on on friday it's in our hands we're going to do it here at home hopefully with uh, 30 or 40,000 spectators we are going to a final we have the same chances than our opponent the 7th of october and still 25 games to play in the league even like i said many times i don't looks like but i'm a very very optimistic person i think that every gonna everything is gonna be all right always so here we go okay any other questions we we'll close it here thank you very much coach thank you thank you de nada hey, how are you?